Hi guys, this is Andy and Eric from Mobile Must Have, and in this video, we're gonna go over the Parsec Husky antenna. Well, she is Husky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Parsec, they actually nicknamed this the birthday cake. Uh, that's the magnet version, but these antennas are kind of big. Um, but what comes with additional size is additional performance yeah. in many cases. So this, anything better. Yeah, this has been one of our top performing antennas. This is what is bundled in our Ultimate Road Warrior Plus and Speed Demon Plus uh, bundles. So this has definitely been a high performance antenna that's also used by California Highway Patrol and a bunch of other first responder folks. So this has got a lot of battle testing uh, under its belt. Uh, today's just an overview video, so we're gonna tell you a little bit about the variants and some of the features. Yeah, now we've actually been selling these for a couple months already and have been really, really happy with their performance overall. Um, so although this video is new, the product definitely is not for us, which uh, so we're excited about getting the video out. Uh, a keynote too, these antennas also are 5G ready and they cover the 600 megahertz range, which is that T-Mobile band 71. Uh, so they're a great option for any future proofing or if you're looking at 5G in the next couple months or years to come. Uh, these are a great thing you can purchase now and you won't need to uh, reinstall a new antenna later. Um, from a variant standpoint, they obviously come in two different colors. Um, there are two main cable lengths. We have a seven foot option and a 15 foot option. And we have different mounting options. You can get it with just kind of the stock um, flat surface mount option or you can get it with the magnet mount option. I'm gonna say this clearly though, there are different SKUs. So you can't necessarily switch a magnet and that. And it just, so kind of plan ahead which one you wanna go with. Uh, watch this video, we'll, we'll try and help you solve that too. Yeah, if you're absolutely not sure, you could, I would recommend go with the magnet because there is a kit called the hardware kit that will let you step down into the standard, but you can't step up into the magnet. Yeah. Um, so. Just keep that in mind because it's not a part we can buy from the manufacturer, just this foot base. Right. Um, but to give you kind of a high level on the antenna itself, we've got a 3M adhesive uh, mount here. Check out our mounting kind of options discussion yep. video like that, here. Uh, that kind of goes more into this. Um, but this can be mounted on top of a box to give you some additional height. If you've got some rails you've got to cover or directly onto the roof. Yep. Uh, this antenna does not require a ground plane. Um, you can add one if you want, but the manufacturer is comfortable saying that the performance specs they've outlined are uh, good based on this just being mounted straight on a non-metal surface. One additional note, you'll see this locking nut here. That is for if you're installing on a metal roof. Uh, but if you're in an RV installation, you can disregard that locking nut. And we cover a lot more of what that means in that installation video we referenced earlier. Um, if you upgrade or move to the magnet mount, another feature that's very beneficial for some of our customers is that these magnets, besides being insanely strong, um, we kind of have had some of our customers laugh and say that uh, it's, um, it's hard to get them off. It's really hard to get them off. <laughs> um, these are adjustable. So you can unscrew that very similar to like a table leg if you've got a ridged roof and Kinda that will help it. you level out that antenna. The other thing what's great about the magnet mounts is while this antenna goes kind of straight down to wherever you're mounting it on the roof, the magnet has a side exit option. So while you could go straight down and then deal with ceiling, um, this one's really more designed for some sort of exit that's not below the antenna. Um, so you could do this for a couple of different reasons. If you needed to, if you already had a solar drop and you wanted to run cables through that since you already had a good hole through the roof, um, this is a good option. Then you just need to put down like a metal um, sheet uh, and then magnet this to it. You don't have to do any other holes or any other cable drops. This is where that kind of option sticks out. Yeah, that's really popular for folks that have those rail, rail rails on like Gerard awnings uh, because they can actually run these cables through the front cap or through the rear cap rather than through the roof. Um, and that can give you some ease of installation by getting to certain cabinets right above the driver's seat area. I know for us, we see that a lot with the Integra coaches um, that's very popular. Well, and I have um, this magnet one on my RV. I have a solar drop, so I didn't need to run another hole with another cables and deal with it. I just wanted to run it all through the same place. So I put a magnet sheet down. I just attach this with the magnets and then could run the cables exactly where I wanted them to go. Yep. 
In terms of kind of what's inside the under the hood here, uh, these come in seven. We, we kind of stock two variants of this: a seven-in-one antenna, which is a four-by-four four Marmo cellular, yep. a two Wi-Fi element, and a GPS element. Um, that's kind of our most popular. We also stock it in the nine-in-one variant, which steps it up to getting four by four on the Wi-Fi. Typically not needed if you're looking at any of our PepLink modems, um, but we have had certain customers that are running rallies or they wanna add a second pair of Wi-Fi on the roof for like public Wi-Fi, food trucks, mm -hmm. first responders, I need more Wi-Fi throughput. It is an option, the housing doesn't change, you just add two more leads. Uh, and then finally, just one other option that these antennas have, this is an additional option you can purchase. Uh, this would be a pole mount solution for it. This would be much more for like a rural home, not necessarily for an RV usage as dealing with poles. It's not something we typically recommend. This um, is also just a really heavy antenna. And this is heavy alone. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice high quality piece of metal, um, but you've got the mounting brackets to a pole that goes on this, antenna sticks on top. Mm -hmm. It's a great option. It also will double as a wall mount. So you can install this and just screw it straight to a wall rather than needing a pole if that's uh, an install use case for you. So now if you are looking for maybe like a five-in-one version of a Parsec, uh, Eric, can you grab that one? Yeah, this is our Doberman. Um, so the Doberman is just a, a smaller profile. This is a five-in-one antenna. Uh, this do, they do recommend you use a ground plane with this antenna, which we sell. We've got a 16-inch round that we've tested that's had pretty good luck with it. Um, and you know, you just if you're gonna go with a five-in-one for like an MK2 or a category six or single category 12 modem, you really just don't need all of this space. So Doberman is a nice option if you want a smaller install footprint, um, but there's nothing that will prevent you from installing a seven in one. You'll just have two extra cell leads that you can use in the future, future proof if you want to upgrade your modem. If you're looking for a custom cable length or something custom for a fleet or you're doing some type of commercial rollout, we do offer custom solutions. Uh, there are some quantity uh, kind of minimums, typically five antennas or more, but that is an option if you need something specific. We're very close uh, and one of the top partners with Parsec, so we can get you whatever you need. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions on these antennas, you can leave a comment below or chat with us on our website. Uh, you can also shoot us an email at info at mobilemusthave.com and we're happy to get back to you. All right, guys. We hope to see you on the road. Thanks, guys. Bye.